Hello again and welcome back. Chapter 60 today. Lament over defeat in battle and prayer for help for the choir director, according to Shushan Eduth, a Miktam of David, to teach when he struggled with Aram Naharaim and with Aram Zobah, and Joab returned and smote 12,000 of Edom in the Valley of Salt. And this relates to 1 Chronicles chapter 18 and 2 Samuel chapter 8. Here we go. O God, you have rejected us. You have broken us. You have been angry. O restore us. You have made the land quake. You have split it open. Heal its breaches, for it totters or it shakes. You have made your people experience hardship. You have given us wine to drink that makes us stagger. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth, Selah that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness. I will exult. I will portion out Shechem and measure out the valley of Succoth. So these are two territories on opposite sides of the Jordan, occupied by Israel. Though he is Lord over all the earth, we know he has a special care and regard for the land of Israel. Verse 7. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the helmet of my head. Judah is my scepter. So a helmet is symbolic of force, and the scepter represents dominion and governance. Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom, I shall throw my shoe. Shout loud, O Philistia, because of me. So God said he would exalt himself over surrounding nations. Both Moab and Edom were noted for their pride. Verse 9. Who will bring me into the besieged city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have not you yourself, O God, rejected us? And will you not go forth with our armies, O God? O give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. Through God we shall do valiantly, and it is he who will tread down our adversaries. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we pray that you would bring relief when we feel overwhelmed with discouragement. Grant deliverance for us during these moments. Encourage our hearts as we face situations that would cause others to fall into depression. Dark moments that leave us feeling hopeless and believing the lie that things will never change. Father, give us hope beyond the heartbreaks that we experience. We cling to the inspired words of the Apostle Peter that if we humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God, you will lift us up. You will exalt us at the proper time. In humbleness, Father, we call upon you as your children. We ask you to lift our spirits by transforming our minds. Strengthen us to see the value of dwelling on things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. Help us to fix our minds on heavenly things rather than on earthly things that discourage and drag us down. Thank you, Lord, that Christ loves us and keeps on loving us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We continue praying for the weary, lost souls that still do not know your son, Jesus, including those deceived by false teaching and theology. We ask that their burden of doubt and deception would be lifted by the realization that Jesus' death on the cross paid the complete price for their sins, without need of any merit or doing of their own, and that no sin is too great for the price that you paid on the cross. Help them to see past any pain or desire for acceptance by men and to understand that your acceptance is the only eternal truth that will matter. My brothers and sisters here with me, lift up any loved ones or family members that remain in this category. Please continue working on their hearts and, and their minds before it's too late, as we care deeply about this matter, Lord. Now to him who is able to guard us from stumbling, and to cause us to stand in the presence of his glory, blameless and with great joy, to the only God our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority, now and forever. In his great name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, that'll do it for the day. Always, As always, appreciate you being here. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Take care.